Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. This map shows the entire Giga Texas property shown in red outline and all the construction areas, including the original phase one and main foundation area shown in green, six areas of additional construction and the magenta area where the battery cathode plant is being constructed. Today, heavy rains came through the area, so Giga Texas is quite wet. So let's take a few moments and look at some images around the site. Then, let's look back one year ago today when a major milestone happened, the installation of the very first structural component for Giga Texas. Let's start out on the west side of the General Assembly structure, specifically where they removed those wall panels just to the north of the large glass panels. In my last video, we talked about how they were going to install the triangular wall panels to allow the glass to be symmetrical to the south end. And that is exactly what they're doing. As you see at the right-hand corner of the photo, they've already installed that diagonal. So we should start seeing the triangular shaped wall panels installed soon. In addition to this looking like it could be a large Tesla T symbol, I'll uh, just remind you that on top of the roof here, they're going to be spelling out in large letters Tesla. And this is the side of the building that faces the highway and also the airport. So it would be appropriate for a very large uh, symbol on this side of the building. Also for the General Assembly structure on the south end, we are able to take a close look at the ground level on several different areas. So you can see the work that is being done underneath as well. A lot of slab work and a lot of utility installation that we can see. We also spend some time in the far south end where the water detention ponds are being filled and reshaped. As you can see here, the uh, after effects of all of the rain are pretty evident. Uh, so there was some work going on here, but I think they need to let it dry out first. And then we move into the central area and just to reiterate how much rain that was uh, deposited over the last 24 hours, you can see the central excavation area where the footings is completely filled with water. So it's gonna take them a little bit of time to get to that, but they continue to fill dirt on the north end of that pit and also work on the steel structure. While we're on the south side, we take a look at the stamping machine structure, specifically on the east side to see how that concrete driveway rebar and forms are progressing. And you can see that in the upper left-hand corner photo. We also look inside the structure since the doors were open and we can see a lot of progress. And where you can see the arrow in the lower left-hand corner photo, another very large uh, sheet metal machine has been installed. Next, we go up to the casting machine structure where we see wall panel installation is ongoing. The east side is done. More than half of the angled section on the northeast is completed, and we watch uh, more wall panels arriving today. And you can see in the right-hand corner photo, more slab work with some interesting foundation elements being put in in that north area next to the paint shop. So that wraps up some of the key areas I wanted to show you from today around the site. So let's take a look back one year ago when a major milestone at Giga Texas happened, and that is the installation of the very first structural element. So I hope you enjoyed this brief video look back. Today we look back one year ago and we see this steel structure that was erected. And at the time we didn't know if it was a test structure or a temporary structure or if it would be a permanent part of Giga Texas. We now know it was a major milestone moment. And this structure here, the four columns, uh, the steel and the foundations that you can see both here in the photos in this short video formed what would be the paint shop and then the rest of the structure grew from there. In this video, you can see some of the uh, initial footings in the north part being uh, constructed, the rebar cages that go in the bottom of the footings uh, for concrete, and that's where the rest of the columns would be installed were, were underway as well. So again, one year ago, the first vertical part of the steel structure was assembled, and the rest of the structure grew from there for the next 12 months to be what we see today. So again, I just wanted to reflect back one year ago on a major milestone for Giga Texas. Before we begin, I would like to say thank you to my patrons for your generous support. Patreon members get access to high resolution photos, previews, and direct dialogue with me. If you would like to support my channel, please consider becoming a patron using this link, which is also in the video description. Please also consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Thanks. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga Texas.